Hey there, I'm Crystal Covington, founder of Women of Denver, and I'm here to share another one of our amazing member features to showcase the women who participate in our organization. Today's member is a power woman, and her name is Victoria Lynn Hanu, and I can't wait to learn a little bit more about her. Um, we're new to getting to know each other. We've met at a couple of events so far, so I'm really excited for this conversation. Thanks for joining me, Victoria. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's really fun to be here with you, Crystal. Thanks. All the technical stuff. <laughs> oh, yes. Technical is always so much fun, but hey, it's fun. We get to know each other by the way we handle things, right? Exactly. Exactly. So talk a little bit about the career that you have today and how you landed here, like the journey. So um, like the, 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 the two-minute version of the journey. Okay. Well, the two-minute version of the journey is as well where I am today is I'm a holistic business coach and I work with women leaders and I help them lead authentically with soul level self-knowledge and then I help them align their business their strategy and their culture so that they can make the impact in the world that they want and thrive at the same time and so that's what I do and how I got here was I started out in um uh, software development, IT. I'm a former techie with a bachelor's in quantitative analysis, which meant I can tell stories from numbers, but I couldn't get a job in that. So I got a job in my minors of systems analysis and programming. And over time, I became a business analyst. And from there, I discovered coaching. And I became a certified life coach. So I take the left brain and the right brain and I integrate them together to be able to do what I do for my clients. Ah, okay. Yeah, I feel like one of the key things in business is being able to look at systems and understand things. And so you kind of have both, you know, all the different pieces that are needed, the technical side of things, which I feel like a lot of the business owners I talk with struggle on that end. Oh, They're they like, do. yeah. <laughs> and then pairing that with the soul of them, which is kind of why they got into it in the first place. People are usually drawn to business for something, um, not always, but they're often like there's some emotional reason, a missing piece or something that they're really inspired by. And, you know, but then they need to also get their, you know, what is it? Left brain, right ba brain there. They need yeah. to get their right brain involved. It's, it's that place of who are you authentically, right? We start business because we're drawn to it. We're passionate about it. And a lot of people, a lot of women start business as a result of, I'm just not employable anymore, right? And I want to do something different and I'll take my skills and contract and they start there. And then it, it's like, oh, I want to build a business from there. And sometimes they're doing what they can do, but not what they really want to do. So there's a whole combination that shows up there. Nice, yeah, that's an important piece to consider. Um, I hadn't looked at it from that perspective. Um, so tell me a little bit about um, a recent accomplishment that you're proud of. So a recent accomplishment is for me, I've taken what I do, and I have created an entire framework. So I'm going to be taking that framework and teaching others to do what I do because I have a big vision of a world of conscious business where people, purpose, passion, and profits are all aligned with heart and soul. And I will be in within the next couple of years bringing lots more people to the plate to be able to do what I do. And so that's a huge accomplishment, taking yeah. the woo-woo and intangible and bringing it into the tangible world. So I'm really excited about that. So I was able to do that and bring it in for create a system and a framework. So I'm really excited about that and excited to see where that all goes. Awesome. So you've been to Women of Denver for, I know you've at least been to three, maybe four events. Um, so tell me a little bit about someone that you met at one of the events that you were inspired by or that you just had a lot of fun getting to know. So there's a woman from Women in Film. Her name is Trey. And it was really fun to talk to her. 
and get to know her. So one of the things that I love about Women of Denver is that you have women from all different industries there. And yeah. the funny thing is that at one of the Women of Denver events, I was there and so was one of my neighbors. And so that was the funniest <laughs> story is and my neighbor Maureen, she's also in Women of Film, which is how I got to talk, you know, when I was talking to Trey, it's like, she goes, I'm in Women of Film. And it's like, oh, do you know Maureen? And so when I run into Maureen, when we're walking our dogs, it's like, we're talking about how our world is really small. And I think that's one of the cool things about Women of Denver is that you run into people that you didn't know were members and then they're members or you see people it's just really cool. It's a really neat place and lots of fun. Yeah, that's been funny for me. The first time that ever happened, so this has happened multiple times where people meet their neighbors at Women of Denver. <laughs> and <laughs> there was the first one, it was so hilarious because um, like they, they were just so taken aback and so excited um, to find out they literally lived like one house away from each other. And they, I guess neither one of them had run, they hadn't bumped into each other yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah, when you haven't met anybody at that, met your neighbors. And I had met my neighbor walking my dog. So walking your dog is a great way to network, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I never got into the dog thing here. I'm still, so I, for some reason, I have this like weird, like dogs make me get, um almost hives like I get so I oh, wow. oh my God. everybody in Colorado is gonna hate me now because I'm saying this but <laughs> <laughs> I've never been comfortable so it's like I maybe if I owned one myself I would be comfortable with my own dog but I just always kind of looked at dogs and I have this like sense of uh not comfortable like I'm just uncomfortable so um I did have my grandmother had a dog in her house for a while fluffy and i fluffy could sit at my feet and i was good with fluffy for a while. <laughs> well if you ever want to you get a dog you can always get a fluffy for yourself right yeah so if i did he was a little pomeranian if i did get a dog it would be something like that you know but i don't know how the my husband would do with like he he likes real dogs <laughs> Right, <laughs> you know, so he's looking at something a little bit bigger with some girth that he could, you know, kind of pat on the belly. And this is, you know, a little lap dog. So I don't know if we'll have a fluffy or not. Maybe we'd have a fluffy and like a, I don't know, dog types, like something bigger and, you know, that looks good when a man carries them. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Well, it'll be interesting because now that you have a child, they're going to want a dog too. <sighs> <laughs> I can't change baby diapers while also taking the dog out for poop. <laughs> right. Well, we didn't get a dog in our house until our daughter was in middle school. So. Okay. Yeah. After a while, like when the kid's not, you know, there's no um, poop messes or anything like that, you know, then maybe we can consider it, but I'm not cleaning up after two beings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thanks yeah. for having a chat with me and telling us a little bit more about who you are and um, what inspires you about the women at Women of Denver. Well, you're quite welcome. It was fun chatting with you, Crystal. Thanks. All right, people, don't hate me because I don't love dogs. <laughs> Thank you for paying attention to this video, and I hope to see you at a Women of Denver event very soon please feel free to inbox me at crystal at the women of Denver.com. Send me a uh, message on social media or just show up to an event and say hello. See you soon. Bye.